This is your DNA Info update for Wednesday, September 1st. After a hot and muggy day, we'll drop to a low of 77 tonight. In your headlines, Ladies' Night could be coming to the Supreme Court. The Manhattan attorney who sued five nightclubs alleging that Ladies' Nights discriminate against men says he wants to take his case to the highest court in the land. A federal appeals court rejected the lawsuit on Wednesday. The man who plunged several stories out of a West Side high-rise Tuesday is in intensive care at St. Luke's Hospital. Police haven't said whether 22-year-old Thomas McGill was attempting suicide or fell. McGill landed on a parked car that belonged to a carpenter working nearby. A man who's been stealing subway trains for the past three decades admitted Wednesday that he recently stole two buses. Darius McCullum, who has a history of Asperger's disease, was originally arrested on charges he stole one bus on Tuesday. Prosecutors said McCullum confessed to pulling a similar stunt 20 days earlier. He's being held on $100,000 bail. New Yorkers who commute to and from Roosevelt Island have something to look forward to. The new Roosevelt Island tram station design was unveiled this week. The new station on 59th Street and 2nd Avenue features a new paint job, new restrooms, and improved station lighting. It's scheduled to be completed by the end of September. Those are your headlines. Get all of your Manhattan local news at dnainfo.com.